Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Oshalee here, and a few things before I get rolling into this video. First of all, I just want to say a big, huge, warm, appreciative and grateful thank you to everyone that joined me on my first ever live stream or live show which I did on Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. I know it was last minute. I posted on my channel that I was going to be doing a live stream or live show a couple hours before the actual live show and I'm so grateful and thankful for everyone that joined in. Um, just a few things to note. The reason that I did the live show was I wanted to address all of y'all's comments on my um, Black Booktubers Always Quit video slash response video to no black booktubers at the thug movie set new york times articles mentioning booktube no black booktubers being mentioned slash is booktube racist video i know super long title i try to fit it all in and thankfully i did or at least according to youtube standards but yes i wanted to address all of the amazing and wonderful insightful touching comments that i received on that video and I just knew that if I were to sit down and actually start, start, it's already begun. I already can't talk. <laughs> and already, if I were to sit down and actually started to respond to all of you and write out the responses and give it the time and the attention that each comment truly deserved, it was going to take forever. So I wanted to do a live show just to read the comments and reply to the comments. And I'm so grateful for those of y'all that were able to join me and tuned in even towards the end. We were able to speak and just have amazing conversations. It really just was beyond my wildest expectations. It started off with me just wanting to address y'all's comments and we barely even got to any comments. We were able to read a few of the more like insightful and interesting ones that I saw that really made me think. Um, I'm so sorry if I didn't address your comment. Like I said, the live show just kind of took on a life of its own. And for those of y'all that were there, it was so great and so wonderful to meet y'all. A lot of creators on here as well, fellow booktubers. It was amazing to meet y'all. A lot of my viewers that have been watching for a while, it was so great to meet you all and chat and just talk about things. It was so nice. It was like hanging out with a group of friends. So now I'm thinking about possibly doing a meetup. More on that much later. I say all that to say that I really wanted to post the live stream for the rest of y'all to watch but unfortunately YouTube just was unable to capture the live stream and I've already emailed and contacted YouTube support so I, I haven't heard back so I don't know if it will ever be resolved. I really wanted the rest of y'all to have the opportunity to watch you know what went on and you know participate after the fact but unfortunately right now I don't know if that will happen. But the good news is I have decided I'm going to do a live show once a week right now. I really enjoyed speaking to you all and that more personal side of the YouTube and booktube community that I've always been missing here on this channel. I definitely want to tap back into that and get more involved in that. I promised y'all in my video that I'm going to do better myself and I'm going to do my best to change and put myself out there to really build and uplift our community and the booktube community in general and especially the community on my channel and I have not strayed from that I have not changed my mind and so I want to do a live show once a week probably on a weekend so more of y'all can join me so maybe Saturday evening would be a good night for us or Sunday evening let me know in the comments which works better for you all and whichever day gets the most votes either Saturday evening or Sunday evening is what we shall do Ooh, I'm out of breath already <laughs> so that's the first thing I wanted to say now on to the video now today is my four-year anniversary on booktube I am normally not one to celebrate my booktube anniversaries but this year just feels special um, it definitely feels like the beginning of a new era here on this channel um, it feels like something's really starting and budding and blooming whatever analogy you want to use fits perfectly here <laughs> but it just feels like something's really beginning and I'm very excited to see what the next 12 months will bring um, for those of y'all that don't know I start the year on my birthday so my birthday month is coming up on no on in November November 30th and that is when my year begins 
So it's getting close to that time where I really start to think about the next year and my goals and everything like that. And that's what led me to really wanting to acknowledge this booktube anniversary. So on October 28th, 2014, I posted my very first video to YouTube and it was a booktube video. I, I thought I started my channel with NaNoWriMo videos, but that is not the case. Even before NaNoWriMo, I wanted to be a part of this community, which is so so great but i posted my very first video on october 28th of 2014 and it was an original tag video and unfortunately at that time i didn't really know anyone in this community personally and so i didn't i don't think i tagged anyone in that video it was an originally original tag that i came up with kind of to celebrate this time of year you know it's halloween it's a little spooky it's a little cozy it's a little nostalgic it's, it's got those warm and fuzzies, but it's also a little spooky. I think I've said that before, but... So I came up with this tag, and it's called Books I'm Scared to Read, and that was the tag. So I have decided to bring this tag back and reprise it for my fourth year anniversary, and I have really made it a lot better, and I'm going to tag... 10 to 12 of y'all down below. I would love if you could do this tag. It is a tag and a challenge combined, so I think that you guys will find it very interesting. It's unlike other any other tag you've ever seen or done, because like I said, it is a tag as well as a challenge combined into one. So without further ado, let me stop rambling. Let's jump right into the tag. So the books I'm scared to read tag. We have six prompts and one major challenge at the end. The tag is self-explanatory. You can tell by the name, books I'm scared to read. So you're gonna pick six books prompted by these six prompts slash questions of books that you are scared to read for the reasons that I will outline shortly. And yeah, I will let you know the challenge at the end. For number one, the prompt is, number one is to read a book that has ties to a painful personal past for you. So this pain, this painful personal past should have something to do with either your ancestors or somehow connected to your race or ethnicity or tribe. So once again, I'm going to say a book that has ties to a painful part of your past, your past. So it's personal and it, it should have something to do with you know, family or or something generational or or your ethnicity, your race, your tribe. Um, so I'm really excited because there are a lot of great books out there. I think this is a great way to introduce more diverse books into our community. A lot of us have such varied and interesting, intriguing backgrounds. And also a lot of us have a lot of rich family history that we haven't even delved into or tapped into. And for every kind of struggle, that any human being has gone through, there is a novel or a book to kind of represent that time. So that's what made me think of this prompt. And for this one, I chose a book that is not necessarily directly tied to my personal past, but it is tied to just the past of those who were brought over to this country in chains. And that book is Roots by Alex Haley. I have been wanting to read this book for years, but it has really scared me. The size of the book, not just the subject matter. I have seen the made-for-TV series or movie. I think it was like a mini-series, and it was really intense. I watched it a really long time ago when I was younger, shortly after my family had just first come into the States. And it really set the groundwork for learning more about the history of black people in this country. But I have always wanted to read the book, but I've been scared to, not just the size of the novel itself, the subject matter, and also just how intricate and detailed it is. I know that the adaptation did a really great job, so I just have been really scared to tap into those emotions, but I cannot wait. Prompt number two is to read a classic book in your favorite genre. So, my favorite genre is romance, and one of the classics in that genre is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Now, I have heard so much about this novel throughout the years, just how depressing it is in a way, and how it's kind of this, I don't know if it's a star-crossed lover's story, I, I don't want to say it is because I, I don't know that much about it, but I've heard that it delves so much deeper into just like the characters and talks a lot about human nature and touches on some philosophical questions and um, some philosophical topics when it comes to people and how they love and how the heart works. Um, I, I've heard that some of the topics 
um, covered and some of the themes include cruelty and um, just darker themes when it comes to a romance. It's just been described as a gothic romance. So I'm really excited to finally get my hands on this book. I think I own it actually somewhere somewhere in my house so I need to find it but I cannot wait to finally get my hands on it and read it I have been anticipating this for years and it's it's time I've been scared to read it but it's time number three is to read a book that depicts a horrific time in history and you know there were a lot of books that I, w I was thinking about books that I have been scared to read in the past but for this one I wanted to pick a book that Yes, I've been scared to read it, but I also feel that I need to read it at some point. It's an American classic, and it's always on the list of 100 books you should read in your lifetime type of thing. And this book is Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. I remember watching the film Gone with the Wind for the very first time as a teen and falling in love with not necessarily the story because the story really disturbed me and there are a lot of racial un undertones and um, just really things in the movie that made me very uncomfortable but I loved the cinematic aspect of the story there were certain characters that I really just connected to strangely um, the character of Ashley I really enjoyed his character um, I know everyone always talks about Scarlet and Rhett but my favorite characters are actually Ashley and Melanie I felt like they were the most sympathetic and endearing characters in the whole story the characters of Mammy and Prissy really touched me as a teen because these were the characters that looked like me and the history behind it is so dark and yet so intricate and fascinating. I just, uh, it's just, it's just, it's, it's a must read. I feel for everyone. I've heard the book has made several people that have read it that I know personally very uncomfortable with the racist undertones. But th those were the times and we're talking about um, slavery times we're talking about directly post Civil War times so you know they're gonna be things that make people uncomfortable but it's historical and um, I've heard that it's actual actually very factual so that's one of the reasons I want to read it and there are definitely a lot of more darker books that I could have chosen but this is the one I decided to go with I wanted to stick with American history as well Number four is to read an adventure story you've always been scared to read. And for this one, I went with The Call of the Wild by Jack London. And the reason that I've been scared to read this adventure story is I'm terrified when stories involve animals. I'm very, very sensitive to stories involving animals because I hate to read about animals being in distress or animals being mistreated or animals you know going through tragedy I just it's a soft spot for me ever since I was a kid and I read where the r red fern grows I've just been very touchy when it comes to books involving animals especially dogs so I've just been a little terrified to read this one but I think it's time and it's a perfect adventure story and it's short fairly short so I should be able to get through it fairly quickly number five is to read a novel based on a horrific true story and for this one, I chose Room by Emma Donahue. I don't really want to elaborate too much because this book was being raved about and discussed and hyped on booktube at one point. So I feel like we've all sort of watched somebody go on about this book for an extended period of time. For those who are completely clueless, this book talks about a girl who was abducted and her abductor kept her locked up in a room, raped her, um, fathered the child on her, and now she is stuck in this room with her child. The little boy is now getting to be about five years old and you know what? It's just, it's getting to be too much. He's getting too old for them to be trapped and locked in this room and so she starts to plan her escape. And that is the gist of the novel. It is based on a true story and there have been many such stories, unfortunately, and there are still many such stories in our world. Um, sex trafficking, um, abduction, kidnapping, all of these things are very horrifically true, real scenarios that happen to human beings, um, especially women in this world. And so that is the novel that I chose. I have been wanting to read this for ages. I think I have hauled this and TBR'd this in numerous videos. So it's finally time to take myself up on this challenge and stop being such a scaredy cat to read it. And finally, number six. Number six is kind of a fun one. It's a little bit more random. Just throwing some lee into this tag. And number six is to think up a title, any title, 
anything that comes to mind and Google it and then read the book you find. Yes, this one is a lot of fun. So the title that I thought of, A We Were. It's just very random. It was just in my mind. I didn't have anything attached to it. I think it's the name of a movie, but I just wasn't really thinking too too difficultly, too deeply about it, and I just I just came to me the way we were. So I typed it up into Google, into Google, and lo and behold, it is a novel. Or is actually an Irish novel written by an Irish author, which is really cool. And it came up. The name of the author is Shane Morarity. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, so any of my or if you are actually Irish, please correct me. Or if you're just educated and you know, please correct me if I said that wrong. But yes, I believe it's Sinead Morarity. It's an Irish author who wrote this novel. I think it is a family drama and something tragic happened and it's about to see and it's about if they can get the family back to the, the way they were or something of that matter i'm not 100 percent sure i don't want to make this video too long by going into synopses so i'm going to link all of the books good Re goodreads pages down below so you can go check them out if you're interested in any of these particular books and you want to check out their synopses <laughs> so there we are there's the tag those are the six prompts and now on to the challenge the challenge is that Six months from now, I challenge myself and I challenge all of you who are tagged and anyone else that wants to do this tag, you don't, I, you don't have to be tagged by me, you can do it if you want, to have read all six of these books in six months, six months from today, which will be the 8th of 2019, okay? So on April 28th of 2019, I will put up a video discussing all six of these books and you know just reviewing them or discussing them or whatever the case may be I don't know if I'll do a live show or if I'll just do a video stay tuned for that but I'm counting on you guys to keep me accountable that is the challenge part of this tag so now I challenge and tag all of you I will list you all on the screen and also down below in the description box So that is it. That is the books I'm scared to read tag. I'm really excited to bring this tag back in celebration of my four years on booktube. I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel. You new subscribers, welcome. You can look forward to much more new content from me. Ignore that sound if you hear it. That's Teddy crying. He is locked out of my room right now. But I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you and see you all in my next video. Bye. Peace. Bye, guys. Lukewarm book reviews. No offense. And it's just so confusing. It's so confusing. So, yes, many black booktubers quit. We give up. We get tired of running that race and never coming in first or second or even third or even eighth or even 100th, y'all, or even 100th. And no shade to 